I believe it's always handy to make sure that you have a good, hearty dip recipe up your sleeve. When somebody comes around and you weren't expecting it, to make sure that they get nice and full. Now, this is my refried bean dip, but it's got a bit of a twist to it. I'll show you that in a second. First of all, we're just going to have the basics of some onion. So we just want to dice that really nice and small. We only need half the onion for this one. We'll get that pan going on. So a nice low, slow heat with this one. A bit of extra virgin olive oil. We can get that onion in there first. We just want to saute that off so that's translucent and nice and softer. Bit of garlic. We're just going to microplane that one. Because this has got a bit of a Tex-Mex kind of flavour, so we need those crucial onion and garlic elements to it. So in we go with that one. We'll just let that cook away. Now, of course, we need a bit of spice. We need a bit of flavour. Some cumin just here. You can have about half a teaspoon. And we have some chilli. And depending on how much your guests love chilli, you can have as much or as little as you want. I know that my guests love chilli, so we've got half a teaspoon there as well. We'll just stir this up. And now it's time to add some beans. You can have black beans, but I find kidney beans are a little bit bigger and they do absorb the tomato a little bit more, which I'll be putting in next. So in we go with these ones. Now I want you to cook them so that they soak up all that lovely seasoning. We'll also go a little tiny bit crisp as well before we add the tomatoes in. Now I'm not gonna put a whole tin of chopped tomatoes in. I'm just going to add it spoon by spoon. You can use fresh tomatoes if you want to as well, but it goes a bit more paste-like, which is how we want our dip when we do it this way. We will be mashing these beans, so we don't want a wet, soggy dip. And one more. Last few things, nice, generous amount of Murray River salt flakes, some cracked black pepper, because it's all about flavour when we're making dips. Just mix that up. Now, I'm going to let that cook for about five to ten minutes, just to make sure everything's soaked up before I start mashing those beans down. Now that those beans have warmed through, they're a lot easier to mash. We'll take that off the heat there. And we're just going to mash all these lovely beans up. Oh. smells so good. Now I'm just going to smooth that around because we're not finished yet. I think we need even more flavour, so I'm going to add some delicious cheddar cheese to melt on the top as well. In we go. Now I'm going to put this under the grill to make sure it just melts away so that you can dip whatever you want sitting there. Oh, so this is perfect for in front of the TV, a little bit of an indulgent snack there. Now, the great thing about this is I've gone from the stove top and I can now go under the grill because of the removable handle and then onto the table. Into the oven we go. I love one pan dishes. And just like that, take the handle off and you can serve it exactly like that. I have some coriander here that I'm just gonna use for a bit of garnish on top. I mean, I think you should probably share this with some friends, but for now, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a taste, making sure I get some of that bean and cheese as well. Wow. That packs a punch. That is delicious. There is a bit of spice to it, which is how you should have refried beans, I think. But the cheese on top as well. You feel like you're being kind of naughty, but there's no guilt in this whatsoever. Mm. 